After the access cavity I try to explore the coronal third and the length until the fine steel file can advance freely. The more complex the anatomy of the canal, the more important this phase is. We prepare the coronal part of the canal with a 20 file with a 6% taper making brushing movements. The patency phase is performed with fine steel files with gentle quarter turns clockwise and counterclockwise to determine the correct working length by electronic conductometry and radiographic confirmation. In this stage of the treatment we perform a glide path with a 15 file of the rotate system. I perform the mechanical glide path once the 10 hand file slides smoothly down the canal to working length. AK10 file must be passively pushed 1 mm beyond the working length repeatedly throughout root formation. Apical patency is associated with greater clinical success and advantages in avoiding loss of working length, apical transport, and other accidents. Instrumentation is continued until the appropriate apical size is achieved based on the anatomy of the canal. After completing the file sequence, apical gauging must be performed. But I will explain this in a separate video.